Good evening. I will be reading a short passage from the short story, Blue. And what's important to know about the protagonist of the story is that she's been hated her entire life for the crime of being born a very dark-skinned woman in America. Martha walked farther along the street, wanting to sit on a nearby park bench to rest her ankles, though she knew it would make her late. The Smiths were decent, aloof and distrusting, but reliable with their pay. And she didn't want to alter this circumstance by upsetting them with her tardiness. She only paused before what seemed to her an impromptu gathering at the corner of Fifth and Prospect Street. It was a large crowd of regular folks surrounding a small group of men who she saw intermittently through the weaving masses of pedestrians. One man stood before the others and Martha had to move to see him clearly. He was tall and slender with skin that shimmered like polished bronze. He spoke a flurry of words that captivated the crowd enough to make the people stand and listen. Martha drew the ire of two women who she'd accidentally bumped on her way into a clearing. They wore cigarette pants with sleeveless button-up shirts and sunglasses, looking her up and down, showing only slightly more disdain toward her than the speaker. They scowled as he went on, shaking their heads and even laughing out loud as he made his point. The sight of them imperious and important looking, reminded Martha of her sweatiness and generally haggard appearance. And so she stepped away, leaning in closer to hear the suited man speak when he noticed her. His eyes went wide at the sight of her face and instantly she was afraid, growing even more so when he pointed in her direction and all of the onlookers turned their necks to see. This, this right here is the point and the reason I am speaking. We are living in the wilderness of North America. This land of misfits and misanthropes got you thinking day is night and night is day thinking right is wrong and wrong is A-OK. -okay. Some people in the crowd chuckled, entertained by the cadence, got you all confused about yourself, making you wish you were something you are not, walking around knowing your mother looks like midnight and won't dare to be seen arm in arm with a woman darker than a rubber band. You can follow what the white man tells you to think if you want to, but for me, I'm looking for the real thing. He said, his eyes fixed on Martha, a real original woman with none of the stain of old master's blood running in her veins. An original woman preserved and clean, a taste of chocolate sweetness out of a dream. An original woman, I want her hand. The good fruit grows in the darkest soil and not in the sand. I know that's the truth. A woman on the far side of the crowd yelled and tentative laughter followed. But Martha was drawn in, mesmerized by the bronze man who was still 
looking into her eyes. I need an original woman, blueberry, dark cherry. That's the only kind of woman who's sweet enough to marry. A woman held high, righteous, battle ready, sweet to the bone. That's the only kind of woman I plan to take home. Thank you.